Hey everyone, welcome you to the video. In today's video, we have a question on statistics. So uh, here the question is, what is standard normal distribution? How to convert a normal distribution to standard normal distribution? So I hope many of you would be knowing about normal distribution, right? A bell, a bell shaped curve, right? And mean median will, a uh, mean median mode will lie at the uh, same uh, position, right? So it follows the empirical rule, right? So we have seen the properties of normal distribution and how a normal distribution will be, right? Now let's discuss about standard normal distribution. So what is a standard normal distribution? So to say, it is a special type of normal distribution. So when I say standard normal distribution, it follows all the properties of normal distribution as well, right? So as you know, it will have a bell curve, right? It follows the empirical rule, right? So according to empirical rule, we can say that most of the data will lie within three standard deviation, right? So you can say that the mean, median, mode will all be equal, right? So now when a normal distribution is called as a standard normal distribution, we can say that it is a standard normal distribution when the mean is equal to zero and standard deviation, let me write in short, standard deviation is equal to one. So let's say there is a a normal distribution, okay, a bell curve. So when we can call this normal distribution as a standard normal distribution, when the mean is equal to zero and the standard deviation is equal to one. Right. So here will be the first standard deviation. Here will be the second standard deviation. And this is third standard deviation, right? So this is how a standard normal distribution will be, right? A normal random variable is called as a standard normal distribution when the mean is equal to zero and the standard deviation is equal to one, right? Then we call this as a standard normal distribution, right? So as the normal distribution, standard normal distribution will be centered over the mean, right? Or will be centered over the middle uh, point, isn't it? Okay, so now let's see how to convert a standard, uh, sorry, how to convert a normal distribution to standard normal distribution, okay? So you can convert a normal distribution to a standard normal distribution by using a formula x minus mu divided by sigma, right? So this is called as the z-score. You can call this as z-score or standard score. Okay. So now we can calculate or we can convert a normal distribution to a standard normal distribution by 
using this formula. So here X stands for the observation. And this refers to mean. Mu refers to mean. And sigma refers to standard deviation. Right? Now, so now let's uh, see how we can calculate the z-score, okay, or standard score for the given data. Okay, so let's say we have age. So let's take an example. So I have a random variable here, age. So I have few observations for that, okay? Say 35. Okay, so these are the observations I have for this random variable, okay? Now, if I wanted to assume that this is a normal distribution, okay? See, I have taken some random data here just to show you how we can convert this into a standard normal distribution using this formula, okay? I'm not telling that this is exactly following a normal distribution. I'm just, uh, you know, showing you an example with some random data, okay? And assume that the mean is 24, Okay, and the standard deviation is 3.9. Okay, now if I wanted to convert this into a standard normal distribution, or let's uh, say in short as SND, which stands for standard normal distribution. So assume that this is normal distribution. So if I wanted to convert this random variable into a standard normal distribution, then we can use this formula, right? So you need to take each observation, right? And take the difference uh, with mean and divide that by standard deviation, okay? So if the mean and standard deviation is given, you can easily convert any data into a standard normal distribution. So if I apply these values on this formula, for the first observation, the value will be around, okay? So this is for 20, right? And similarly for 23, if I try to calculate the standard deviation, oh, sorry, uh, the uh, Z-score, this is actually called as Z-score, right? So if I try to calculate uh, Z-score for this uh, 23, then it will be somewhere around 0.256. Okay, and for 24, it is zero because the mean is actually 24, right? So here, if you try to uh, take the difference, then it will be zero, right? And for 21, it will be somewhere around minus 0 0.76. And for 23, so for each observation, you can calculate the z-score, okay? So it's somewhere around 0. 256, right? Yeah, we have already calculated this, right? For 26, it will be 0 0.512. For uh, 35, it will be 2.8. And for 30, it is 1.53. And for 20, it will be minus 1.025. So again, the same value. And for 21, it will be minus 0 0.769. And 22, it will be minus 0 0.512. Okay. So what I have done here is I have calculated the z-score for the given values, right? So now this is a standard normal distribution, okay? so. Assume that this is a normal distribution. If I try to convert this normal distribution into a standard normal distribution, then we can use this formula, okay? And basically it will give you the Z-score. And the range of 
the z score will be minus 3 to plus 3. You can see for any values, you will have the z score value ranging between minus 3 to 3. Okay. So what, what if any certain data point gets a z score beyond this range? Let's say lesser than minus 3 or greater than 3, then that will be called as an outlier. Okay. So this z score can be used to identify the outliers in the data. Okay. So let's say if the z score we have calculated for any data point is greater than 3 or lesser than minus 3, then they are outliers. Right? So we can we can convert any normal distribution into a standard normal distribution uh, distribution using this formula. Okay. Thank you all.